Sentiments, this is a reading for you. This could be your energy. This could be the energy of someone you're connected to or the circumstance. This reading may play out from the perspective of the cross watcher. Uh, this is a timeless reading. It's also very general, so please take what resonates only and let the rest go. All right. Um, oh, also understand that this is not a gender specific reading. I'm, I'm doing a additional reading for Leo placements last week. There was some issues with uploading, a lot of crazy energies. Uh, coming through, but I promised you guys another reading. Um, your first reading was more um, leaning to the um, side of you holding the space, okay, for someone or, um, but not holding on, okay? Someone is moving forward. I feel like there was also themes around, there's a saying that a minor setback for a major comeback, but I feel like with you guys, there's been a major setback, but there's going to be an extraordinary comeback, okay? Um, like someone feels as if they took a long stroll or ride down Hope Road and got lost, okay? But finally, there's something that, that's coming in that is, you know, finally, like, clarity or the ability to, to have sound reason and to be rescued in terms of like something coming in to rescue the hope you have in your heart about something, okay? So that was kind of like the first reading. There was a lot that was going on in that reading in terms of detachment and um, control and feeling bound to something, maybe addiction. But if some of those same things come up for you, then, you know, that'd be great that portion of the reading is still up so check out that reading with the title I believe it's holding a space but not holding on something like that okay this may be a completely different message that may resonate with you in a, di in a different way and that's absolutely okay as well okay guys so but that's this energy that I'm getting for you today with this new reading is that yeah there's like something that's coming in to save the day to save hope um, I feel as though there has been a balancing act, however, and, you know, a lot of emotional decisions, it could be weighing something or two different people or two circumstances or two career paths or two something, you know, there's something that's kind of teeter-tottering, but, you know, you're managing, you know, you could get the award for being the best juggler ever because you're doing it, okay? Um, so there could be a Leo, another Leo um, of significance. Uh, that is prevalent in your energy or a Capricorn okay so let's just get started with an Oracle online source divine spirit archangels guides ancestors the seven masters five Dean above my higher self and my God who's with the highest light and resonance our racist our family Allow me to be a clear channel and show me clearly what I need to see for my Leo placements. Thank you so much. Fixed fire. The lion, Leo. Strength, the sun. What's the divine guidance here to start the reading off? Oh, you know what? They're like, yes, hope. Okay? You didn't get lost down hope down Hope's Road. Okay? Uh, you were meant to go down that road because something um it's coming in to restore that hope you know there you are in the midst of all the chaos right all the darkness all of the light all of everything whatever it is that you are experiencing this is the energy of hope okay number 16 number 16 reduces to seven and this is the energy of the chariot right this is the energy of drive and passion and forward movement a right dynamic fire energy okay Again, another Leo or a fire sign of significance here, but you know, sevens are a very um, spiritual number, okay? And um, it's also acting towards an objective, right? So something is taking place here, all right? Um, and it's interesting that your court card is the seven of wands okay so there could also be this energy here of defending something or you know blocking something out 
you know, passion. That's beautiful. That is, wow. You know, at the beginning of the reading, I, you know, just tell, kept, tell, you know, getting this energy during your meditative session of just, again, hope. And, um, and that, you know, spirit wants you to know that, you know, hang on to that. There's something that's coming in to solidify that hope. Okay, let's see if there's an additional message here. I feel like I've pretty much touched it. Um, that's what they want me to, wanted me to um, relay for you. But um, let's see. Behind the passing dark clouds, the sun still shines bright. Once you're able to understand your magnetic connection to the challenges that surround you and heal those imbalances with love, storms will cease to affect you as they once did. For now, there is stillness and hope in knowing that the sun still shines bright behind the passing dark clouds. It is then through this renewed clarity, inner knowing, and strength that you will be able to manifest a life of choice. For no more will you see passing storms as a destructive force to be reckoned with, but rather an opportunity to evolve to higher states of consciousness and understanding. It is through this act alone that you are reborn to a world of wondrous manifestations and fulfilled dreams. It's beautiful. All right. And there's something here um, that is relating to the sacral chakra for you. Okay. The sacral is your second chakra. It's the energy of I desire, right? I want. And it's your sexual energy. It's your passion. All right. There may be needing to be some healing done there. There may have been a lot of healing done in that aspect. Okay, so yeah, let's move forward. What are the messages for, well, let's get the faded overall energy. The faded overall energy for Leo placements. The faded overall energy for Leo placements. One card, please. Faded overall energy, and we have the world in reverse, so there is some type of resistance here. Okay, this is the overall, the faded challenge. Okay, um, you know, something feeling incomplete, lack of closure. You know, there's an infinity sign in the palm of the hands that's about infinite possibilities, right? Um, abundance and balance. In reverse here, there is, you know, something possibly off balance. The world is number 21, reducing to three. Threes, of course, in reverse are just that, imbalance. It could be a third party situation. It could be addiction. It can be just overworking. Anything that throws you off of your balance, right? That um, affects your creativity, affects your consciousness, affects how you see something, yourself, your circumstance, your affects your ability to take action, to be creative, all right? Um, your affects your ability to be able to see a, a precise direction in terms of what you want to do or where you want to go. And it's also, again, changeability. Being a fixed fire sign, there's a dynamic energy that you guys have. But, you know, that, that fixed energy is beautiful. It's determination. It's uh, longevity. It's tenacity. But it can also hang on sometimes in terms of the unhealthy aspects uh, to situations and circumstances for far longer than needs need be far past the expiration date because you're fixed into something and you want things to work out or you want things to turn out the way that you want them to turn out or you have this undying faith in something or determination to see something through but here again this card can represent all of the things I mentioned or it can represent someone else or the circumstance here okay um this is about releasing doubts this is about maybe releasing the past or someone could be being pulled backwards right um, there's some unfinished business here. Uh, see for what sure. the um, are surrounding Leo placements. Please show me clearly. The most important messages, please. What is the energy surrounding Leo placements? Show me clearly. Okay. We have Theta Bara. Okay. The first face of the silent film era in terms of feminine energies okay um and this mystery star card represents theta bar and she was a leo okay so your energy is here okay someone could definitely be um 
into the occult or um, someone who has access to esoteric knowledge. You know, one of her famous quotes were, was, to be good is to be forgotten. I'm going to be so bad, I'll always be remembered. Okay, so there's something here about wanting to hang on, wanting to let go, wanting to make a statement. Again, unfinished business or something of that nature. Whenever I get to see the bar card, I, I still think of silence, a period of silence or something that um, wasn't expressed, you know, in silent film. They had to be very emotive, um, very, has, you know, exhibit a lot of expression and get the point across through the emotion, okay? One of our famous um, uh, films was A Fool There Was. So someone feels as if, you know, again, let down Hope Road and a fool. If there ever was a fool, that was me. Or, you know, this is that feeling, right? Um, also with Theta Barra, um, we get this energy, right? Of drama, expression, being emotive. Uh, this, you know, off the wall, you know, vamp um, persona. Um, mysterious and she was famous for a crystal ball so there's something here um that is being seen clearly okay that's your energy okay so let's get one more from mysteries and the stars we have aries and we have the mystery star card that represents selena okay who was an aries and with this card coming out, both cards in the upright. So healthy aspects of these cards, okay? So um, with Selena, of course, she was um, a beautiful uh, singer with beautiful range. Um, very close knit, okay, in, in terms of family. One of her most famous songs was Dreaming of You, okay? But there is a lot that surround, that surrounded um, this energy of Selena from betrayal to trust factors, right? Jealousy and envy. But this card is in the upright, okay? So we'll see what kind of comes through in respect to this energy of Selena. All right. Um, interesting. So let's get some messages in. Leo placements. What's the current energy? energy for Leo placements. Ten of Wands, something's over. Something's, you know, come full circle. You know, with the Ten of Wands, this is third Deacon Sagittarius. Um, this is also the energy of burden, right? Um, the Ten of Wands can also represent just taking on a lot, taking on a lot of tasks, working really hard. In the beginning of reading, I did say that you're definitely, you know, you get the award for for being uh, the best ever juggler because you are doing it. You're making it happen. You're balancing something, but, you know, it may be becoming to be a burden or it may just be the fact that you are ready to move forward. You've learned all you had to learn here and you're just ready to move forward and you're ready to take the next step. 
but here you know this is a lot of weight okay and you know tens do represent an ending okay what else from leo my leo placements we have judgment in reverse okay so you know you know whatever the situation is with the ten of wands it just feels as if you know um it's it's overwhelming okay it's come to the end of the road um i'm hearing boys and men end of the road like again that energy of of holding the space but no longer holding on right but um well someone is holding on because the boys and men song it says i think we've come to the end of the road but still i can't let go i belong to you you belong to me so you know there could be again just back and forth um trying to figure out what to do who to choose what route to take or this could be a decision where something is a burden okay and there's an energy of someone else that's just not ready to complete the cycle okay um but we have 10 here and we have the world that indicates completion as well okay but obviously something here is being resisted and of course the world is fixed energy so again you definitely could be dealing with another leo or fire sign for sure aries or sagittarius okay and with judgment this is pluto pluto is the ruler of scorpio and you know again number 20 two reduces the two so this could ind indicate something to do with a couple or something, there's a gestation period or something is, you know, there's a conflict, all right? Judgment in reverse is feeling trapped, feeling imprisoned, you know? This could represent literally um, someone is burdened by the fact that they are doing time or And again, I'm getting the energy. Again, major, minor setback for a major comeback. This could be someone saying that's like incarcerated or, or locked away or, you know, that's just taking time away. But what I got from your last reading was that it was a major setback and it's going to be an extraordinary comeback, okay? But um, I do feel like here with this judgment card, something is being rejected. Something is not... Um, I'm also see, I'm hearing ring of fire, but something is, something, someone has been rejected or something is just not, being faced here. I'm also hearing heavy, heavy sentencing, heavy sentencing. Um, heavy sentencing, heavy burden. Um, this could also have something to do with health. Loss. What else for... Leo placements. Okay. Okay, we have two more cards. So we have the Eight of Swords here. Okay. Eight of Swords, Gemini. Energy, Gemini, First Deacon. Ten of Wands, Judgment, and the Eight of Swords. What I'm seeing here is a lot of fire. A lot of fire, okay. Um, the only actual fire element here is Sagittarius 
first deacon. I'm sorry, Sagittarius third deacon. But the the the, the imagery of fire is is here in all the cards and in, in the judgment card in reverse and the eight of swords, Gemini or air. It just looks like all the elements. <laughs> that's needed to start a fire. A heavy burden and ascendancing is what I'm hearing. Uh, the Eight of Swords literally represents mental entrapment, but it could also represent a physical entrapment or prison. If someone is, someone has a heavy burden that they have had to carry. And this definitely could, could indicate, you know, mental instability, emotional and mental instability, because a judgment card in the center can be disillusionment, all right? It's difficult to move with, you know, that many logs to carry. With this bull here, there definitely could be a Taurus of significance. Self-doubt, feeling blocked. With the Mystery Star card of Selena, I feel like someone here has a lot of potential and there's something here to that is significant in relation to family. Or, or, or a close-knit group. You know, I'm, I'm definitely getting interference, karmic energies. Some type of dark manifestation or even someone feeling bound. Oppressed, stressed. These binds aren't very powerfully, you know, um, tied to this individual. Someone is experiencing a lot of disappointment or experienced a lot of disappointment. Isolation, depression, pain. 
legal issues. And, and that's, that's the burden here. We had a final card that came out, which is the Two of Cups. Okay, the Two of Cups. It's interesting how this card um, in this deck happens to have two masculine energies um, sharing in a, um, a union or filling each other's cup, okay? So this could indicate a, um, a same-sex relationship or connection um, with two masculine energies. This does not have to represent that at all, okay? But the Two of Cups here does represent a possible soulmate connection. This is Cancer energy or water, a partnership that's coming together, something that's healing, growing, or coming together in balance. Remember, there's hope that's coming in to solidify something. Number seven is also the number of the chariot, okay, which indicates action and forward movement as well as victory, all right? There is a resistance here, okay, because the world is in reverse. This could also indicate just, again, holding the space but not holding on and understanding the need that it may be time to move forward without closure, right? The world is represented by Saturn, and Saturn is about lessons and you know, moving past restrictions and constrictions. But here, someone feels restricted. Someone feels as if they're running out of time or that there is something that needs to be addressed. This could be the energy that was moved through from the past, okay? And balance has been restored, but let's get a few um, clarifiers. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, Mars energy, Aries, Scorpio. Um, this is divine intervention. No matter what happens with the tower, after the tower comes through, there's always some type of enlightenment, okay? But whether someone asks for divine intervention or whether this was through repeated cycles of karma that hadn't been learned, the divine just had to step in. No more. Okay, this, this tower could have been the catalyst for someone to move through this space a burden or interference, a delusion, maybe even psychosis. Feeling as if you hit a dead end while traveling down Hope's Road. This tower could also represent a miracle, right? That could be leading to this, this energy here with this cancer or this water sign or whatever this partnership is that is in the cards for you, okay? That represents this hope energy. Okay, so what is the Ten of Wands? Ten of Wands is being clarified by the Ten of Swords. Again, Gemini energy here, but we have Gemini first and third deacon, okay? The, the Ten of Swords has come out to clarify the Ten of Wands, so that's 10-10 in the reading. We also have the energy of the world, which is completion, all right? So there is something that is over, something that is ended, all right? The Ten of Swords is the height of Confusion, anxiety, pain, betrayal, deception. There's nowhere else that you can go, okay, after the 10. So you have to surrender, okay? There's, you know, 10 swords in the back and the neck, and this is, you know, 
this is the height. Someone experienced, again, a major setback, but is going to experience an extraordinary comeback. But getting there was painful and hard. A lot of hard work, a lot of effort. With this Ten of Swords, this is pain. This is pain, okay? Um, but there's an ending. After the Ten of Swords, we have the Ace of Swords. Or maybe even the Ten of Swords in reverse, which is, you know, there being some type of a forgiveness of self, acceptance of what you've been through, your role, how to move through it. And then it leads to the Ace of Swords, which is moving through chaos, healing through some type of challenging burdens, energetic attachments, okay, confusion, jail time. Whatever it is, it's been a heavy, heavy burden here or someone that you're connected to has been through a heavy, heavy burden. Someone's, you know, really dealing with a lot of karma here. Something possibly to do with their family. We have this Alina card here, okay? She had a very tight-knit family, a tight-knit group, but then, you know, trusting certain individuals led to betrayal and tragedy. But this judgment card here in the center, you know, a lot of rejection and pain and feeling alone and abandoned, trapped, blocked, okay? But there's something that's coming to an end here. But endings represent new beginnings, that's for sure. Ten ten. But in order for something to begin, there there has to be an ending here. This Hierophant um, in reverse card could represent, again, just a loss of respect for someone, you know, um, someone of a high influence, misusing their power, misuse of spiritual knowledge. Again, I'm getting, you know, a lot of energy here surrounding, you know, feeling entrapped. You know, this could be someone doing love spells or binding spells, um, just plain unadulterated manipulation here for sure. Um, and again, a Taurus energy. I got that same energy um, with this Eight of Swords card with that bull in the background, okay? So um, there could definitely be someone who is very deep in the occult, okay? This could be you or this could be someone else, okay? Or another Leo. Take it how it resonates, but we have the Theta Bara card. She was the vamp, you know, she was the, you know, perceived esoterically wise or um, submerged in the occult. At least that's the persona that she gave, all right? So someone here definitely could be really spiritual or, you know, maybe into the darker arts. But, you know, the Hierophant Taurus energy here right underneath of this Ten of Swords okay someone had it in for someone or someone definitely um well, maybe it was a hypocrite or um is rebelling against this influence right and with this higher font in reverse also this clearly represents you know something has come to an end maybe a high level commitment or marriage but you're protected. Okay, temperance on the bottom of the deck. Okay, there could be a Sagittarius of significance that you are connected to in this energy. Um, someone that, this could just represent, you know, your higher self or your guides or some angelic, figure or being or someone that's, that you see as that that's helping to guide you out or um, to break a cycle of pain to move through a space of darkness someone here has done a lot of work or um, 
has actually made their way through a dark night of the soul, okay? Um, and is taking the fool's journey one step at a time. Okay, someone could be also here resisting or caught up in something karmic where they are not able to or feel they're not able to move forward, okay? But this temperance energy here represents patience, that there's healing, there's protection, right? Temperance is alchemy. It's turning pain to power, wounds of wisdom, and iron into gold, okay? What is the judgment card here for Leo placements? This judgment. This judgment. All right, so we have the star card in reverse. Um, you know, losing hope. You know, this could be you or someone who kind of felt as if they were on Hope Road and they got lost, but they were able to like do a lot of work on themselves through some type of rehabilitation, um, rehab, or just through, again, a very dark and painful experience being the catalyst to their growth and overcoming and moving through a dark night of the soul. Or this could also indicate um, someone who is just negative that is throwing a lot of negative energy someone's way here this could be the energy of of course like you know some negative force coming in between star-crossed lovers uh this is aquarius energy here to clarify judgment right rejection anger negative energy and like woe is me Someone is just very, very, very negative here, okay? And justice in reverse. Inability to accept accountability. Libra energy, judgment in reverse also is 11-11. So this definitely could indicate a um, some type of interference with a divine connection. We have the infinity symbol in the middle of the palm there, which also indicates, again, the eight energy of equilibrium, mirroring infinite possibilities okay but here with this world card it's in reverse it's fixed energy all the fixed signs we have confirmation of all the fixed signs here we have scorpio here with pluto we have aquarius here with the star card we have taurus here with the hierophant as well as that bull in this eight of swords energy which represents entrapment and binding energy maybe someone's doing binding spells someone here is Is feeling trapped or someone here is trying to trap someone okay to prevent someone from moving forward towards this connection or towards just balance within themselves emotional fulfillment okay but this energy here again is not taking accountability for their action someone is desperately trying to interfere um, within a connection or someone's spiritual path, right? Um, the justice card here, you know, with the 11 energy, it's the number 11 in the tarot, that could indicate a portal. Someone here is kind of stuck. Choosing a side, which is totally fine, you know, you know, we all come here um, to, and Source wants to experience everything, all energies, forces. So, you know, someone chooses the side of the dark or chooses, you know, to not awaken, then that's part of the experience that Source wants to know, okay? That's a part of it all. And that's this dual, uh, uh, duality, reality that we live in, that we are trying to um, abolish, right? But aside from that, someone's dealing with a lot of legal issues here, Someone is, is giving up hope. You know, someone could be dealing with a lot of legal issues. Um, I'm hearing divorce proceedings, custody battles. Um, there may have been a crime here. We have the Selena card out. 
where, you know, there was gun violence and a tragedy that happened. So, you know, someone could be burdened with a heavy sentence here. Okay. Um, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra. What's the Eight of Swords? What's the Eight of Swords for Leo placements? You know what? This is really bizarre. Lately, I've been getting a lot of the same energies clarifying the same energies that um, are coming out. And that doesn't happen very often, okay? But the Eight of Swords is clarified by the Eight of Swords. Okay, there's definitely a Gemini energy here of significance. Definitely First Deacon Gemini. A lot of Mercury energy, someone who's very mercurial, someone who um, is an overthinker. This could also indicate someone who is under a spell, someone who is being worked on, possibly by another Gemini or an air sign or a Taurus, okay? Libra or Scorpio. This also indicates a lot of mental torment. And definitely, you know, someone who is incarcerated or in a mental institution or someone that is exiled or away from everything that they know. If, if, if it's not physical, then it's, it's, it's mentally, okay? Feeling bound. I'm, I'm definitely getting something to do with fire, water, or air, like binding spells or, um, yeah, there's, there's been a very dark and difficult road to get through here, okay? And to clarify the Eight of Swords, we have the Eight of Swords. Someone may feel isolated in their circumstances because isolation, obviously, imprisonment, but within a connection or within a karmic situation, relationship, or addiction here. This could be health issues, for sure. But someone feels disappointed and, and very much trapped, okay? Very much trapped. What's at the bottom of the deck under that Eight of Swords? We have the Emperor. You know, the Emperor, in connection with both of these Eight of Swords cards, could definitely indicate, you know, someone that is, you know, unable to share their emotions or... Gullible energy, you know... Sometimes the emperor is clueless because there are so many people around the emperor and they're getting so much advice that it's like, it's, it's a gullible energy. It's like, this could be the reason why a, a, a masculine energy is not awakening because they're under some type of binding, in a binding contract or under a, a, a spell, okay? Um, all of this mercury energy um, is giving me magician energy as well, okay? Um, someone could be in a legally binding contract in terms of like their job or the government, okay? Someone could be dealing with like a federal crime here but this could also indicate someone maybe waking up, someone finally, slept, finally stepping into their power and being able to break free of these, of the spell or of this mental entrapment, okay? The last card is the Two of Cups. Can you please clarify what the Two of Cups is? What is the Two of Cups? For me, with this Nine of Pentacles, this could be Virgo energy or Earth, but I feel like someone is no longer no longer 
someone is moving from single status to a partnership, okay? Single status to a partnership. This nine of pentacles could also represent a energy of codependence. burden, setback, someone could be dealing with a very materialistic feminine energy or just someone in general that is very overindulgent that's with somebody just for their money alone. But for me, again, I feel like this is the energy of going from, again, the nine of pentacles in the upright can represent someone that's single and um, independent. And when it's in reverse, it could definitely, by clarifying the two of cups, indicate something, you know, emotionally fulfilling coming together that's bringing in balance for you. Okay, Leo placements. Maybe there is some type of business situation where you need, you know, investors and you're going to go from being a single or sole proprietor or something like that into, you know, actually working with someone, someone's willing to invest and in taking you from being like a single, you know, uh, one person entity into like something that's gonna be like an emotionally fulfilling, fulfilling um, opportunity. What else is the Two of Cups? Why is the Two of Cups here? Why is the Two of Cups here for Leo placement? I do know that hope is coming in. Uh, something is coming in to solidify hope for you. Um, to be your sunshine. To bring you back the vitality that is you. Okay. Um, we have the Four of Swords coming out to clarify this Two of Cups. The Four of Swords... Yeah, there could be an earth sign or an air sign, okay? A Virgo or a Libra. Or again, any of the, of the air signs. We definitely have Gemini here in Aquarius. Um, and we definitely have Taurus here as well. Um, and Capricorn with Saturn. So earth or air sign, Virgo, Libra for sure. Coming out to clarify this two of clubs, I feel like this could definitely represent someone that's younger than you or someone you're connected to is with someone that's younger um, or someone that's immature or someone that's very materialistic that is very much interfering, right? The four of swords represents someone who is having a difficult time getting over something, getting over what? Three of swords, heartbreak, rejection, right? And someone is interfering with whatever is coming into balance. For you leo placements it could be this cancer it could be this emotionally fulfilling partnership in business or whatever's coming together okay it looks like it's bringing imbalance to your life and there's someone here that's very immature that wants to interfere with that okay that wants to cause conflict and the four of swords in reverse is also like my pre-magician in reverse energy so again a lot of Mercury energy here, material energy. Again, Virgo, Gemini, someone who is maybe immature, insecure, um, that is doing work against you, dark magic, or if it's not dark magic, which I'm getting that clearly, binding spells, um, love spells. Most importantly, if it's not to the level of black magic, then it's definitely something to do with manipulation, control, surrounding money, uh, legalities, surrounding a business or marriage, separation, divorce, custody. Okay, someone's pulling out all the stops, slander, whatever they can do to prevent this cancer from moving towards you or you moving toward this cancer or just someone that is just finding balance, okay, with who they are or what fulfills them, okay? 
yeah, someone is very much um, selfish. Someone has unrealistic expectations about how something was supposed to turn out. Okay, someone wants this happiness, someone wants this fulfillment. Um, this could definitely be a Pisces. This Nine of Cups just indicates to me is 12th house energy. It's, you know, is delusion and it's confusion and it's secrets. It's the unhealthy aspects of Neptune, right? which is a ruler of Pisces, which is victimization, being a martyr, delusional energy. Someone here is very delusional, but there's a lot of interference here, okay? surrounding this cancer. I also want to get one more card on the Two of Cups. What's the Two of Cups for Leo placements? What's the Two of Cups for Leo placements? Strength. Whatever this Two of Cups is, whether it's someone willing to invest in you, um, to help you with money, or to you know come together with you in a partnership, or someone, you're moving towards a space where you're no longer going to be single, or whether this is um, overcoming. someone finding the strength to overcome and move past this maybe their own immature ways or mental confusion heartbreak rejection and find balance being able to finally find a way another solution to battle the beast within. Overcoming addiction. Lust. Anger. But I feel like this is an energy that is has been rejected. Okay, and someone has found the strength to move forward from this energy towards you, or you have found the strength to um, move towards someone else, or just to find this balance, okay, or this acceptance, right? Um, of who you are, of where you're going. Strength, number eight, okay? We have the infinity card in the middle here. So there's strength to overcome this resistance or someone has already overcome this resistance and is moving forward about their own closure. The sun has come in to bring in truth and illumination to get you back on the road to hope where you thought there was all hope lost. Yes, there was a cost to get there, but that's Leo's strength right here. So something could be coming back into balance in terms of a divine connection, a twin flame connection, doesn't have to be, but whenever I have infinity, I think of, you know, and I get the number eight, I think of mirroring, okay, equilibrium, balance. This could just represent balance within yourself. Okay, there's something here for sure about masculine energies. Okay, this could represent a connection or, you know, forging and bonding a strength between father and son or something of that nature. But here, again, 
Leo, Cancer energy. This definitely could have something to do with a Cancer or another Leo where there is hope, okay, coming in. Um, we also have um, Sagittarius in the reading pretty strongly as well. All the fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, with Saturn and the world, we have Capricorn. We have all the Earth signs, Virgo and Taurus. And we have Gemini in this reading, very, very strong, um, as well as Aquarius and Libra, okay? But Mercury and Saturn, Mercury and Saturn, okay? But on the bottom of the deck, right underneath the strength here, I feel like someone is, again, holding the space but not holding on, all right? Whatever this is, you know, in the process, something or someone is being left, okay? Someone is being displaced. Someone is walking away. Someone feels left out in the cold. Again, five years. Holding the space but not holding on. I feel like someone is in a space where they feel whole. They found strength to forgive. And they found peace. And someone has found their faith and they found their hope once again. Okay. What's the energy to overcome here for Leo placements? What's the energy to overcome? What's the major blockage here? Something shocking? It's interesting because we have the star card right in the center of the reading underneath of the judgment card, and that's Uranus. Okay, that's Uranus. So with Uranus, especially with the star card being in the re reverse, Uranus is in Taurus. There's a lot of Taurus energy in this reading, all right? Whatever's being found out, whatever has kept someone entrapped or, you know, bound or maybe someone's going to prison, again, heavy burden to bear, heavy burden to carry whatever someone has moved through. Um, in this process of forward movement, I feel like there's going to be a major re revelation. Okay, so this is the blocked energy. This may be what someone has had to move through. It may have been very, very difficult to hear something, to know something, okay, in relation to someone's health. Okay, we have the, 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 the nine of the eight of swords here twice. The higher font in reverse. We have um, you know, four of swords in reverse. So yeah, there could definitely be something here about a revelation about someone's health or the revelation about, you know, a crime, okay? With Libra energy here, judgment in reverse. This is the energy to, over to overcome, okay? Shocking. It may be shocking to know that someone is holding the space but they're not holding on, they've forgiven but they moved on, okay? Maybe moving on with someone else. Despite all the interference, despite all the black magic, all of the binding spells, someone is shocked that someone could be, you know, standing in their power. We had the emperor come out underneath of both of these uh, eight of swords cards. So there's something shocking. This is the energy to overcome here. All right. With this energy, it could be shocking information about someone's sexuality, possibly. Okay. Okay. Clarify shocking. Why is shocking the energy to overcome? Why is shocking the energy to overcome? Shocking news about someone maybe being married or something to do with a child or someone may not be truthful about the paternity of someone's child. 
there could be something here to do with neglect. Or again, infidelity. That's why we have the Hierophant here in reverse. Something that someone is finding out that their wife has done, okay, um, in relation to negative energy, karmic energy, dark magic, spell work, etc. Why is shocking here? We have consolation. Um, I feel like is there's, you know, someone can't be consoled, basically, or... Something is so shocking. Why is shocking the energy to overcome? We have um, money in reverse. So something shocking here to do with money. Someone could be paying a dark spiritualist. Someone could just be a thief. Someone could have stole money. There could be something to do with a major crime that involved, again, um, embezzlement of funds. Like I said, a contract here. We did have the emperor. So someone could be, you know, doing heavy federal time for a crime that involves money. Or someone could have done something tragic that involves money um, for someone that, you know, they thought that they could trust. You know, a significant other. For money. And... Because of this, uh, someone is going backwards, okay? Someone is experiencing karma. We have journey card in reverse, okay? Um, something isn't moving forward. Something is being set back. Someone has to pay for, for something that's been done here. Okay, one final card on what's shocking. What is shocking? Okay, why is shocking the energy to overcome for Leo placement? Clarify shocking, please. Okay. Okay, so we have the Ten of Swords with, well, I think it was the other way around. We have the Ten of Swords with the Queen of Swords in reverse to clarify shocking, okay? All right, so whoever this Aquarius is or this air sign or this Gemini, okay, third or First deacon, for sure. This Queen of Swords could represent anyone that is embodying this energy of the Queen of Swords in reverse. Definitely, my queens are fixed, so this would be an Aquarius, or this could be definitely Li Libra or Gemini. But again, anyone embodies the energy of the Queen of Swords in reverse, which is, again, the Queen of Swords in reverse can be very, very cruel, very karmic, um, very cold, very calculating, very manipulative, will stop at nothing to get what they want. This is someone that has no feelings, does not respect the feelings of others, very emotionally intelligent, but has zero emotions, okay, so this is someone who, um, yeah, um, someone may have, hmm, yeah, someone could have, yeah, this could be a major crime here that has taken place, something is very, very shock shocking here, um, to do with health, you know, um, legal ramifications, karma. This is a ruthless energy. Money. Wife. A child. This is like something unforgivable. And that leads us back to the Mystery Star card here of Selena, right? It could have something to do with family, but more than anything, it could definitely be someone in the inner circle, right? When it came to Selena, she trusted the wrong person, a really, really close friend that was really a foe, that was jealous of everything that she had. a lot of energy and like negative energy um this queen of swords here um
yeah. There's something in connection with this Queen of Swords, possibly a Taurus, a Gemini. Um, could all be the same energy, but someone here is um, ruthless. Doing a lot of spell work. But more importantly, if it's not that, it's manipulation in terms of something legal. There's a Queen of Swords at the, the head of whatever took place here. This crime or this manipulation. Or again, whatever's happening is because someone, this Queen of Swords, or someone was very shocked that something is over. Bottom of the deck is your energy. Someone could be shocked that someone here is very intuitive. If this is like a this air sign or this porous or earth sign, whoever this energy is, or yeah, whoever this energy is that caused havoc within a business situation or someone who's doing a lot of time getting a heavy sentence or has been the cause of a lot of chaos because of dark magic and spell work. Someone is surprised at your resolve or vice versa. You know, this could be this Queen of Swords energy could be you, but what I'm seeing here is that Leo placements here, your energy is healthy and strong in this reading. And that you may have overcome a lot and been through different challenges, but you are standing strong in your power against all of this interference, this chaos within a possibly a business. Someone here is very creative. Someone here has their own business. Someone here has an entrepreneurial spirit. Someone here is highly intuitive. You are a sunflower. And someone here knows absolutely that your love is too much, right? It's this queen of swords, right? This queen of swords that's being left by someone, that's being divorced or that's, you know, that's been doing a lot of negative work, sending out a lot of negative energy in terms of just manipulation and control or, again, spell work to keep someone bound and trapped and stuck Okay, could be a Sagittarius, could be another fire sign or a Cancer, but someone here has been working overtime, okay, to get away with something they've done within a business or within a marriage or a commitment because someone is highly, highly jealous, right? Selena. Jealous of someone else's fire, of someone else's magic, of someone else's intuition, of someone else's business, or someone else's hold on someone that they're connected to, or the fact that someone that they're connected to is focused on you or wanting to move towards you, or this could represent someone that you have just evolved past, but ultimately here, this Queen of Swords, okay, someone is shocked or someone is getting exposed for doing something really, really shocking, okay? 
And this is, again, to me, has a lot to do with corruption, negative energy, interference in something that pertains to illegal proceedings. But someone's in shock, okay? Someone is in shock that whatever that they've done, all the money that they've spent on paying dark spiritualists, someone could be a dark spiritualist themselves, that someone here is still standing strong, trusting their intuition, moving forward, was able to overcome challenges, burdens caused by a black male scandal, scandal, lies, negative energy being built at them. Someone here is still standing very strong. Favored, magical. And that's you, Leo placements. It's, it says it right here in the cards. Queen of Wands, standing strong with the wand in her hand, victorious, growing, passionate. And once again, full of hope, not being pulled backwards, moving forward, okay? Back on Hope's Road. Got your own, your own closure. Came out of the dark holding your light, like only the Queen of Wands, the warrior, right? I'm getting Sekhmet. Sekhmet, right? Um, the goddess, right? The lioness, goddess. The feminine face of the sun. That's you, right? Moving forward. 16 degrees into 7. There's definitely a cancer of significance here, all right? 7 is the energy of the chariot. Victorious. Forward movement. Growth. That's you. And that's how we end the reading, okay? Very, very powerful um, message, all right? Let's just get an oracle. Wow. First review, potential outcome. Potential outcome, it looks like somebody here, this, this air sign, knight of swords in reverse, someone wants drama, someone wants to come um, and, you know, bring information towards you this air sign, uh, this Gemini, okay, <laughs> Aquarius or Libra, you know, they're wanting to come and um, talk. You know, with the Knight of Swords in reverse, this is someone who's held back for a long time. And when they're coming, they're, co they're not coming with pleasantries, okay? I mean, this is this energy here. They're not coming with pleasantries. Someone is coming to shock or disturb the peace, or with lies, or more manipulation, surrounding something legal or an investigation, okay, so someone is just surrounded by chaos and drama, or it wants to come and, you know, share something with you, possibly, what's the essential outcome here for Leo placements, yeah, it's this dark priestess energy, this kind of dark spiritualist, this is, you know, Someone wants to come and reveal something that they think that you don't know, but you are the, uh, <laughs> you are the queen of wands. So you have your crystal ball, right? <laughs> Theta Bara, the vamp, right? To be good is to be forgotten. And I'm going to be so bad. I'll always be remembered. All right. So you're not easily forgotten okay you're not easily, easily forgotten and you're not easily fooled okay you are the queen of wands so more than likely you already know okay but someone wants to come forward knight of swords in reverse high priestess and bring in something shocking that you more than likely already know okay um but ultimately here there is someone who is dark someone who's doing magic Right, the high priestess is the moon energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. 
this is a feminine energy at the head of some type of organization or at the head of whatever darkness is going on here or whatever challenges that you may have experienced or someone that you're connected to could be connected to but yeah the high priest is in reverse this person whatever they're coming forward it could be lies they can't be trusted someone can't be trusted here but there will be a revelation here there will be some type of revelation here about this queen of swords or from this queen of swords or this air sign okay possibly about a scorpio or about some type of legal issues or something that again pluto is like something that's really really deep that's getting dredged up the burden can't be held any longer okay Or this could be the revelations about this dark energy or whatever this dark magic or whatever secrets have been hidden. They're just coming out. But I feel like you, Leo, or someone has already moved on, right? You were holding a space for a while, but you, and you still may be, but you're gone. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords, right? We have the Ten of Swords in this reading twice. A lot of pain, a lot of burden, a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. Someone's moved through a lot of work, okay? Someone has overcome a lot of oppression, magic, or someone is about to get a heavy sentence. But ultimately, okay... All of these swords here, eight of swords twice, the truth, okay, is coming out. The truth is coming out. The ace of swords also represents moving past or moving through some type of spell, chaos magic, dark magic, whatever the case may be. This is overcoming it, being victorious. And being victorious in spite of it clarity and victory okay someone is going to be winning a case here someone is going to come out on top of a legal situation fear keeps a soul in such doubt that it has little reason to live happily because it never enjoys and it's always afraid you are not afraid anymore okay You've held the space, you've waited, you've healed, you've forgiven, and now you are moving forward towards faith, towards hope, towards the sun, okay? No more fear. No more fear. On the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands. That's more fire energy, okay? Um, you could be moving towards an Aries or moving towards a Sagittarius or moving towards another Leo. Um, ultimately here... Um, there's a lot of passion, okay? This is also the energy of the entrepreneur, okay? We have the king and the queen of wands here. So this is a divine connection. This is a, a power couple. This is a perfect match, okay? And we had the energy of two masculine energies earlier in the reading surrounding this cancer energy, okay? And now we have the energy of two feminine energies, okay? So this could be a very dynamic business partnership or corporation um or again a same-sex connection but it doesn't have to be okay just the imagery here but the king and the queen of wands is a dynamic and powerful force coming together that just incites respect this could be a, a spiritual business or an intuitive um This is just two individuals that's coming together that's on the same level.
and it's easy. It's easy. And it's something that is something that you've manifested, is something that you've asked for, is something that you've worked towards, prayed for even. Ace of Hope, right? All the aces are a divine blessing from the universe. This is a blessing, a divine blessing of opportunity, abundance. Prosperity. Hope. Right? This is everything you've ever asked for coming in in the form of an engagement, in the form of a new opportunity, a new collaboration. The most important thing is that it's no more delays. No more delays. Something is being solidified here. So, for you. once again, a major setback for an extraordinary comeback, okay? And here you are, okay? Moving towards something solid, business, a partnership. And um, this is something that's divine. And again, you have fought your way through the dark, through the challenges, seven of fear, Leo energy here again. All these cards on the bottom of the deck are just here to solidify all the energy in the reading. Okay, you are a warrior. You are Sekhmet. You are the lioness goddess, okay? The feminine face of the sun, fighting for what it is that you deserve, your divine destiny, your spiritual path, your peace, what you deserve, what you've manifested, okay? There's going to be accountability taken here in the situation, okay? Whatever's being revealed, there is a heavy burden to pay, all right? And you are fighting for this justice because there's been a lot of injustice. And the last card on the bottom of the deck, okay, is the Four of Hope, which can indicate influence, all right? Stability, rewards, Gain. And the Four of Wands. Eleven, eleven. your spiritual path, a divine connection, a promise being fulfilled. The block, the dead end, where you thought or someone thought that they were lost on Hope's Road, that block has been removed. Again, a promise is being fulfilled. And what an extraordinary journey, finding your way back to the sun, finding your way back to what's true finding your way back.